At this very moment, my account is currently level 41 and I have never pulled on it. What? As you can see, I have never pulled on the beginner banner, Sala banner, light cone banner or the standard banner. Well, except the first pull that you actually need to do during the tutorial to get Asta. Before I show you my whole account progression, I first need to answer the question. Why? And what is wrong with you? Well, the story goes as this. On the day that Honkai Starrell came out, I decided to make a fun challenge out of it. My personal challenge was to completely restrict myself of pulling. So no pulls on my account whatsoever, and only use the starting characters. The reason was because I wanted to see how much I can push myself and how much progress I can make in the game with only using the starting characters. I firmly believe that the starting characters are really good, but instead of just talking about about it I went out and actually did it. At this point I'm just built different but at the same time I think that my account might be the work of a madman. Now before we continue and look at my whole account and the progress I made, I want you to subscribe to my channel because seeing this every day is straight up depressing at this point. And you would get my videos on your YouTube page so it's a win-win situation. So first things first, I'm gonna show you my forgotten hole progression. I somehow managed to get to floor 12 and I beat floor 11 that requires two teams with the teams that I have. Pretty much I beat floor 11 with one star using two characters that are not even built or leveled. The rest of the floors are all three stars and it wasn't even that hard. It was a breeze to go with with the starting characters. But I will see how further can I still progress with my starting team. Now, when it comes to simulated universe, I've pretty much beaten all the worlds and finished everything, as you can see, but the main thing I'm focusing now since I just got to level 40 is getting world 3 on difficulty 2 and world 4 on difficulty 2. World 4 is way easier than world 3, but the reason I still haven't progressed this on difficulty 2 is I'm pretty much way too addicted to making meme builds in simulated universe and going abundance and afking everything in simulated universe is the equivalent of watching paint dry. But we all like different things and I don't judge, especially since I am a destruction addict and I also like to gamble with elation, which is the follow up attack one. Now when it comes to the inventory I will show you the inventory of someone who plays this game way too much or an inventory of a madman. These are my upgrade materials, as you can see I farm a lot and I play simulated universe a lot. I have 2000 of these, I have a thousand of these, almost a thousand of these, thousand, thousand. And yeah, I have a lot of experience books and lightcone experience because that is the main thing I'm focusing on. Because I firmly think that at this point in the game, the main focus should be leveling up your characters, getting your characters to an appropriate level, getting their traces, and the relics should be the last step in that process. And that is why I'm currently not farming any relics, nor do I care for the relics, because I can do the content that I want to do for now. I also have 2 million credits, I used to have way more but I had to use a lot to get my characters to level 60. Now when it comes to light cones, these are my current light cones. As you can see I'm only using the ones that the game gave me. The first light cone that I got from the Herta shop was the destruction one because the physical MC is the character that is pretty much carrying my ass in world 3 and world 5. I also have this thing for my Dan hang, I have my preservation for my March 7th and fire MC when I need it. I still don't know if I want to superimpose this because at this moment I don't need it so I'm just waiting patiently. Next up are my relics, as I said I just got to equilibrium level 3 maybe a day ago so I'm not even farming relics. The main thing that I'm doing is farming all the materials that I can so I can have an easier time leveling up my characters. When it comes to the valuables I still have 115 star rail pools. 20 special star rail pools and 6 herta shop bonds. When it comes to the fuel I have 21 fuels and I pretty much only used fuel when I needed that little bit of boost in the experience to get me to the next threshold level. The gems or the currency I think I used around 1500 maybe 2000 on refreshes since the game came out. I kind of prefer to use like maybe 2 to 3 refreshes a day. When it comes to the things that I bought in the shop, the only thing that I have is the monthly thing because I don't care if I'm free to play or not. The monthly supply pass is just a way too good thing to have, so yeah, I can't pass on those. Also, I want to support the game, and this is my way to supporting the game. 
I don't have anything here. I also don't have anything here. Unfortunately, the last month of shop already reset it. And since I didn't pull anything, I didn't have resources to buy the extra five special tickets and the extra five standard tickets. Now, when it comes to my characters, they are all currently sitting at level 57. Some are 58, but most of them are 57, except these two. These two are in prison. The reason I'm keeping them at 57 instead of getting to 60 is because they are gradually over the next week or two are gonna just get to level 60 on their own. Every day while I'm farming and doing the overworld mobs, they grant experience and overall these guys are gonna level. I only used books to get them to 56 and they are already 57. Serval is already 58 in the last two days, so she got two levels in the last two days. Now, I'm gonna show you my Dunhung. Dunhung, nothing special, like the standard Litecoin is level 60. I'm still working on his traces. I need to farm more, but yeah, resources are limited. When it comes to relics, nothing special as well. Everything is level 9 with attack boost. I am not particularly interested in relics at this moment and Eidolons are obviously one. When it comes to my MC, I gradually switch between my MC destruction and MC fire. It all depends on the situation that I'm in, if I need an AoE tank and taunt or if I need my march. When it comes to the light cone, I have the level 60 destruction light cone from Herta shop. When it comes to the traces, I'm still working on it. The relics are also laughable because, as I already said, they are not the main thing that I'm focusing on right now. The fire eidolons are all five maxed out. That is the max that we can get at this point. And yeah, I'm also still working on the traces. Serval is the character that honestly surprised me the most. Because I didn't think that she was a great character, but in the end, she was a character that benefited my account the most when it comes to her and the light cone that she has. My next stop is getting this to level 60. So I'm gonna farm this because she is carrying my account when it comes to Simulated Universe and the Forgotten Halls. Without her, I don't think I would be where I am right now. Serval's relics are a little bit better because I'm farming the lightning domain and the lightning domain is really good because of the lightning set that can be used on pretty much any character and it also drops the tank set which I can use on both my fire MC and march but honestly the main reason I'm farming it here and there is I'm coping for a good drop for maybe my future Kafka. When it comes to the two childs that are consistently in the coal mines and farming for my materials, I've been thinking about maybe raising Herta because of the ice AoE damage, but I'm still not sure. For now, they deserve to be in the coal mines. So yeah, this is pretty much the account that I have. I think I'm doing pretty well. I'm not rushing anything. I'm just collecting my resources. I'm carefully spending on what I want. I'm careful when it comes to spending my credits because credits have started to become a real issue. And yeah, that is pretty much it. In the end, I've been having a lot of fun with this challenge that I've put on myself. But the question is, where do we go from here? I honestly think that my patience has earned me the right to at least pull on the beginner banner and see what my first 5 star will be. If you have some good locations on where I should pull for my next video, please put them down in the comment section below so I can get some luck. But yeah, thank you all for watching. Don't forget to subscribe because it helps me out a lot. And see you all in the next video.